Hey there, Hair Collective. Welcome to my page. Welcome to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. I appreciate your support. So what we have out here is a King of Swords that may be wanting to speak his truth to you or whoever this message is in regards to. This could be someone that may be wanting to apologize to you so you two can seal the calmer waters. There is something that was revealed to this person. They may have received some type of message in regards to you from either a practitioner, from spirit, the universe, there was something that he received right that has clarified some type of situation about you or this situation to this king of swords so it could have been like a group of people gathered together to maybe do some type of smear campaign pin you in a light that was not fitting of you so this is like people going out of their way to create scenarios to make you look like you were uh, either really mean or a loose person very shallow, narcissistic, and things like that. So people went through some extensive lengths, right, to pin you in a negative light. And this was all due to them not wanting this masculine to connect with you, to collaborate with you, or anything like that. This was a this was a group effort. You may have known what was going on, um, but you just could not do anything about the situation at the time. So you just kind of let it play out. But this would have been like a tumultuous time in your life where things were just really mentally unstable emotionally unstable you may have even felt like you were losing yourself at some point right i've went through something similar like, uh, like this before at my one of my previous uh, place of employment and this was like a whole company almost a whole company taking turns kind of bullying me and then this masculine walked into the situation and i'm hoping okay there's a new person here hopefully they'll see what's going on um, well, it didn't take long for them to get him to get him to for them to get him to indulge in the bullying. So he started doing the same thing, partaking in it, right? Um, so they are started doing things to kind of block my forward movement to hinder me and things like that. So you could be in a similar situation, or this is what you are going to, um, because I'm getting like a past energy. Mine's to oh Lord, let's not get into my situation. That that, that was oh, anyways so this could have been a situation that you were in it doesn't have to be exactly that however the truth has been revealed to this masculine and after finding this truth out he is feeling sick to his stomach someone is having a lot of distress and this could be mental distress emotional someone is just feeling really ill and disgusted by the actions he took and this group of people took against you someone is distance, distancing themselves from this group of people and a I feel more than likely it is this King of Swords that is distancing himself from these people because he is disgusted and angry as well because you may have said something to this masculine to bring awareness to what was going on, but they did not listen. Or there was some type of truth revealed to this masculine during the time the situation was going on and he still did not listen or take heed to what he was being told. Uh, so this person may have come up as like egotistical towards you at some point. It's like you meeting someone and they're really friendly. You get comfortable with them. You two talk all the time and then all of a sudden there's a change in the personality and you don't know what happened. So it's something like that, okay? This person wants nothing to do with these people. There could be some legalities coming out of this situation due to the actions these people took. There could have been some type of laws that were broken during the time these people were feeling themselves going out of their way to make you feel uncomfortable, to tarnish your character, to take from you, steal from you, not just uh, financially, but energetically, emotionally, and things like that. These people like wanted you to feel uneasy about yourself. They hated the light you had about you, your confidence and things like that. They wanted to strip you of all of those things, right? So people went through extensive lengths to paint a picture, to solidify a picture that just was not legitimate, right? This masculine wants to come in now and give you an offer, right? It's a small offer, but he knows that you're going to nurture this offer. Um, and this is also him making a promise, right, to build with you, to grow with you and things like that. This is someone making a genuine offer to you. This offer this masculine is making to you is something that is divinely meant to be. This is part of your soul contract. So that means that you and this masculine have a soul contract together. But of course, we all have free will. We don't have to do what we don't have to uh, see our soul contracts through the contracts that we agree to before we incarnate we can always choose a different path so when this masculine comes towards you you have the right to say yes or no and depending on what you say the situation will proceed from there 
So this is a, a, a brand new passionate beginning that is being given to you by the universe, just so you know. Yes, it is going to be a little hard. It's going to be tumultuous with the fact of the reality of the history between you two with the situation that may have taken place. Um, but just know that this person is putting in genuine of genuine efforts to move to, to seal the commerce waters with you. I'm sorry when I'm channeling, I tend to stumble over my words and um, sometimes I'll lose my train of thought because there's so much coming in and I just have to kind of try to focus and not let my conscious brain take over. Anyways, uh, so this offer is going to lead to a brand new passionate beginning, which is coming in pretty quickly for you. Know also that this is going to lead to multiple streams of incomes and opportunity for you too. You too will have the opportunity to be opportunity to build a business together uh, collaborate with other people you're going to go from like not having a lot of clients for your business to having like too many clients where you won't even know what to do with yourself this could be someone that is very well connected and things like that whereas you are just spiritually gifted you're spiritually abundant and things like that it's like this masculine rules in the physical and you rule in the spirit realm so Think of it as like he is like a king on earth and you are like a queen in the spirit realm, right? Like you have a very high rank, you're high ranking in the spirit realm, whereas this masculine is high ranking in the physical. So this is what this situation is. Um, you are showing up as a queen of wands. This means that this king of swords sees you as someone that is extremely beautiful, someone very passionate. You have a lot of passion for life. You are extremely intuitive as well, very well grounded and things like that. You're someone extremely loyal as well. You may have some type of gift that has to do with nature. You connect with nature very easily and things like that. You have a lot of different spiritual gifts and it may be made known to this masculine. If he went to a practitioner, there were things that were exposed to this masculine about you that maybe you have never spoken of. Um, so he knows a little bit too much about you that maybe you probably wouldn't feel comfortable with people knowing about you, but there's really nothing you can do at this point to prevent that because the cat is out of the bag at this time, at this point, right? This masculine is a little bit, not even a little, he is extremely uh, nervous to come towards you because he's aware that you know what took place. Um, so he knows that you're going to be defensive when he comes towards you, right? Uh, and you have every right to be defensive because of the things that took place in the past. For some of you, this could be current energy. Um, for a lot of you, this is a past energy, something you already went through, a betrayal you already went through by a group of people uh, like myself that went through this a while back, like maybe almost a year now um, ago. So anyways, uh, um, and I don't even think it's, it's, it was completely a year ago, but it's been a while like i've moved on life is life is uh peaceful calm and collect now for me but someone is going through this situation it's been really weird this year it's like there's a group of soul tribe like a, a members of a soul tribe that are reflecting the same experience um so maybe i'm part of that soul tribe which is why i'm experiencing i experienced that as well um but this has been like a common theme since last year of like people going up against divine energies trying to break them mentally trying to kind of strip them of their light and things like that right uh and of course all of these actions always have consequences there's karma um and this this is like the path we choose in order for us to ascend there are some of us that do not incarnate very often and what we do is for a very big purpose we have like a big purpose to help uh awaken a large portion of the earth uh for ascension uh so for me specifically i know i don't incarnate very often but when i do it's something that is essential um to the planet that i'm incarnating on and um, for those of us that are not as spiritually aware awaken i know how crazy that sounds but at some point when you get when you are spiritually awoken you'll understand what that statement means uh, so right now, I don't mind you calling me crazy, weird, and things like that. Thank you for the compliments. <laughs> Anyways, so regardless of how you choose to move forward, it is up to you. You have your free will in this situation. You can say yes to this masculine. You can say no. You have every right to be upset, to be angry, and all of that. Because what you went through 
was uncalled for. Um, but someone just know that this masculine feels extremely disheartened about what he did, what he partook in, and would like to make things right with you. Anyways, that is your read. Have a blessed night. I will see you in my next one. Goodbye for now.